Hey, it's Dana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, I had a huge revelation, which I feel like I say in every video, but I had another wonderful revelation yesterday, literally while I was sleeping and I remember it happening. So I felt called to come on here and talk about it because it's kind of a deep thing to be honest and if you watch and listen to Young Faro who's somebody that me and my best friend Hannah did a interview with on our podcast called Validate Me the link to that is in the description box below but on Young Faro's channel like he talks about so many incredible things but one of his video was breaking down um, Santa and Santa Claus and Christmas and what they mean and where they originate from and all of that kind of thing and for some reason um, last night I had a huge revelation about this so I'm going to delve into this a little bit but bear with me as I try and figure out how to get these words out because if you watch me for a long time you know that I always struggle to actually express myself so um when I was watching Netflix, I have watched two series recently where they both have the same character name in them. And lately I've got really into like watching a lot of sci-fi and supernatural kind of series because they're always full of codes and full of information that's relevant to the truth and what's actually happening in the things. And also like teachings that... Um, was already known and founded in ancient cultures like Egypt and things so I always like to watch series especially lately and decode them and try and figure out like what the real message is and in two shows that I watched recently one was called The Originals and one is called The Umbrella Academy they both have a character called Klaus and when I watched The Umbrella Academy first and I heard the name Klaus I was like oh that that like reminds me of Claus like Santa Claus and um, I've heard that name in like many TV shows before, but I can't think what they even were. But I just knew like it, it triggered me, like I felt something with that name. And then I watched the originals last night and literally the same name as one of their characters. So I like immediately knew, OK, this name means something because they would not put that in two shows that are both about like supernatural superhumans that have powers and stuff like they would not put that in the shows for no reason and I kind of connected it to the fact that Santa Claus and then this led me down a weird little spiral last night when I was trying to sleep was that um if you watch Young Farrow's video where he breaks down Christmas and Santa I will link that video down below because it's a really, really good video. And he explained how Santa is an anagram. If you change the letters around, it says Satan. Like, it's exactly the same letters for, for Santa and Satan. And when he, like, explains the whole story about uh, Krampus and things, like, I'm not going to go into the full story. You can watch his video if you want to know about it. But he goes into um, Krampus and how... Santa actually originates from a, a real like a story about them kidnapping children rather than giving them gifts so when I was looking at Claus or Klaus um like when you think about Claus and what Claus actually is it's a clause in a contract like it's a term in a contract or some some type of like paragraph in a contract or something and um even though Klaus and Claus are obviously not exactly the same, but a lot of words are spelt differently and pronounced differently and mean the same thing. So I connected them, like this is how you connect words with etymology and stuff and their deeper meaning and where they originate in different cultures and stuff. But anyway, Claus um, is a contract, like it's a clause in a contract. So then I was thinking, okay, so if you have Satan and then you have a clause in a contract and you combine them together to make Santa Claus or Satan clause, and then when you think about the fact that when we have children, like it's kids that we get to love Santa and stuff, but what do they actually do? They're writing out on a piece of paper, they're writing out a list of all of the things that they want to receive from Santa or Satan so like they're literally creating a contract or a clause or some terms of all of the things that they want 
and then depending on how good they are, like this is the clause, it depends on how good they are as to whether they get these gifts, whether they're deserving of these gifts, like they're literally making a contract with Satan. <laughs> and like it's just so normalised and stuff and I know that sounds a little bit ridiculous and crazy but when you think about the subliminal messages that that sends to not only children but to the adults as well because they have no clue what they're doing they have no clue of the deeper meaning behind Santa and the fact that he kidnaps children and where it originated in Greek culture and stuff like we have no idea because we're not taught these things we're just told that it's a man that you pretend your children like exist to your children and you get them to go and sit on on his knee which creeps me the fuck out in the first place but why would you go and sit on a strange man's knee that you don't even know and ask him for a present like that alone has always felt really creepy to me but then now that I like realised that it's actually Satan and it actually spells Satan and it's a code word Santa is a code word for Satan and then when you have a clause, like you're literally getting children to create contracts with Satan subconsciously, because they're not going to consciously be aware of it, but they're subconsciously, it's programming them to, um, like to give the energy to another deity, because Santa is basically a deity or a, like a character kind of thing. Like it's an energy focus that everybody is focusing on at Christmas time. Like how powerful is that, where they've got the entire world focusing on on one energy point or one character or one like archetype you know so yeah it just kind of blew my mind a little bit like the deeper meaning behind some of their stuff is just ridiculous and also disgusting so yeah now I view Santa quite differently <laughs> even more differently than before so not only is it based in paedophilia but it's also based in Satan and signing yourself to them because it basically controls how children behave the amount of parents that use Christmas and presents and Santa as a um what's it called like blackmail to get them to behave you won't get any Christmas presents if you don't behave like Santa won't bring you presents if you don't behave like that's a contract that you're getting them to feed into you know is that they must behave and then they get presents from a man in the, like a man that's going to come down the chimney and give you gifts oh it just kind of creeps me out but anyway I just felt like sharing that revelation because it's actually pretty deep and pretty disturbing <laughs> to be honest but yeah definitely leave a comment down below if you have anything to add to this and anything that you think about what I've just said and also Young Farrow's video will be down below as well like I said so yes thank you so much for listening and watching I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and all links to my music will also be in the description box as well as my jewellery my merch my everything my social media so yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, yeah, thinking like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, thinking like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, thinking my, I'm not thinking like me, my range all white. Oh, yeah, thinking my, I'm not thinking like me, my range all white.